Hey Numkins, here's a compilation of three full-length horror games, two from Twitch that I played through in front of a live audience, but the first one is a YouTube exclusive. I hope you enjoy there. Oh, mm, the first one's really good. The second one's really good. Third one. <laughs> okay, it's all right. <laughs> anyway, thank you for listening, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Shout out, of course, to our Patreon producer, Alice. Thank you so much, Alice, for the support on Patreon. Check that out, guys, please, if you can. It's the lifeblood of our channel. We have some exclusive content going up there very soon, some new full-length exclusive playthroughs over the next few months. One, hopefully, by the time you see this, but at the very least, a day or two after this. Any tier gives you access to those, so go check it out. Link in the description. Enjoy these three full-length horror games. All right, guys, here we are playing The Stalked. This is a stalker-based horror game. I played the demo of this on uh, stream a while ago, and it was pretty unintentionally funny, I'm gonna be honest with you. But, I've been looking forward to playing the full version, it just came out on Steam the other day. Let's check it out, shall we? The Stalked. I don't think this is super long. People's playtime seem to be an hour to maybe 40 minutes, depending on if they got stuck or not, I guess. I guess we'll see if we get stuck. I have my coffee. I'm in a good mood. The game isn't loading. There we go. I had to break up with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. I think my controller is plugged in, judging by the fact that I'm humping a wall of my own accord. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, this character has, like, a fucking amazing house, from what I recall. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. We do not have a body. Not that that's, like, a, a strike against it or anything, but... What are we going to make? I do like a good saucepan. They are delicious. We're making organic food. Mmm, my favourite. That looks absolutely fucking disgusting. Who would be knocking on my door at this hour? Who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? Oh, Liam, I told you it's over, so no, you can't come in. Come on, you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You'll be mine again soon. Dun, dun, dun. Seems like a reasonable man. Sounds like he walked away, thank God. Food is ready. We just ate it out, just guzzled it down out the pan. Ate food straight off the pan. Are you some kind of psycho is the name of the trophy. That's good. A bath to calm myself down a bit would be great right now. This is not the bathroom. For some reason, I don't know why I thought it was, going to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, here we go. This house is so fucking nice. Holy shit, I love it. That didn't sound good. What was that? Uh, that was probably him breaking into the room. Yeah, that's not good. Give me another chance, please. I'll treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I asked. That can't be too much, can it? XOXO Liam. No, no, I gotta leave before he does something worse. <coughs> Hi, Kate. Yeah, I'm gone. <laughs> I already knew he was there. I'm gonna be honest with you because I played the demo. <laughs> so I was just like, yeah, I'm gone. Bye. I can't tell if we've driven away. I can't remember if we drive away or if we just sit outside like a dickhead. Oh. <phone rings> Calling Grandpa. Hello, Grandpa? Hello, Grandpa. I need your help. Hey, Kate. What's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he'll find me. Okay, I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while. Yes. You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm going to be out on a business trip for one week. That's fine. It's still going to be safer than staying here. Can I go there right now? Yes, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. 
Also, remember to keep the doors locked. If you need to go outside, you can always check the peephole first. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well and don't hesitate to call me again. I don't think I can, I can do voices still. <coughs> Hi. It's Tony Hawk. Shit. Oh shit, he opened the door. That's fucked. Just as well both of us have the reactions of a slug. Otherwise, uh, we'd, that'd, have been, that'd have been a serious situation. That looked like Tony Hawk, like, quite a lot, I'm gonna be honest with you. Escaped Liam for now. That was a close call, thank god I made it out. Liam won't be able to find me anymore now. I mean, considering what this game is called, I suspect he might. I finally broken free from that toxic relationship. Well, game. There we go. You did it in the end. I'm proud of you. Are you proud of the game chat for managing to load? If so, make sure you leave a comment going, I'm so proud of you, video game. I'm so proud. You're a nonkin. Oh my god. Put oh my god in caps as well. Oh no, did Liam manage to follow me here? getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbour. What, in the middle of fucking nowhere in these woods? <laughs> this house I have definitely seen before. Uh, I'm not like super familiar with it comp compared to some other ones, but I definitely have seen this house before. Press F to turn on your flashlight. Oh, excellent. Actually a decent flashlight. Grandpa mentioned it was in a plant pot, right? Grandpa said the key was in a flower pot, right? Yeah, I don't see it. Are there other flower pots? Could be. Because there's multiple entrances to the building. Don't like the fact there's multiple entrances, actually. If you're being stalked, multiple entrances probably isn't the best thing. Oh! This isn't normal. Another flashlight. What the fuck is that noise? And also, why is this just open? Yeah, I don't like this. We're gonna have to come down here later on while being chased or some shit, right? I guess it must be one of those fire pots. I'll have a closer look. This is where people got their hours playtime looking for the key. Can I crouch? No. I don't see it. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, there it is. It is there. Excellent. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Yeah, so this is the lounge on um, to the left here. I'm trying to think of the name of the game I played recently with this house in. It was like a found footage horror. It wasn't bad. Uh, like, it was okay. I want to say th it was called The Something. It's a modified version of that, though, because there's different layouts you can have. You can add bits in and off. In and off? In and out is the word I'm looking for. I mean, this is a bedroom. There we go. Someone's going to peek. Maybe? Wow, I slept that long? I'm guessing it's in the afternoon. And not just incredibly bright at 3.55am. Oh, someone's at the door. Is Grandpa home already? Probably not, I'm going to guess. Well, I know, because I this was in the demo too. Not too much more was in the demo, but... You used the peephole for the first time. Well, there's no one there, which is kind of even creepier. Dearest new resident of this mansion, I am the previous owner of this mansion, and you are the person I've been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I will be watching you. 
watching me? This is strange to say the least. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark though. Let's be careful. I got on the wrong side. Because I'm British, but you still know what I mean. You know what I was doing. The game knew what I was doing. May have clambered the cr cross. Accidentally got the gear stick stuck somewhere on the way, but you know, generally speaking, it's been good. I like the way this convenience store is literally in the middle of nowhere, I will say. What's this? Some kind of paper? Why would we check this out? Poster has been on. Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. Ashley missing since the 15th of the 8th, 2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistance could make all the difference. This is horrible. I hope they find her. All right. Shopping list. Buy groceries. Okay. This is going to be the real challenge, everyone. Okay. Organic food. I do like... Can... Oh, I thought it said canned snacks. I was like, hmm. Uh, soda. Milk. Someone just came. Oh, someone's left. Cereal. Where the fuck is the cereal? Here we go. And wine. I do like. I do. I do like me some wine. All right, let's go pay for this. Hello. Is that all? Yes. All right. The total is twenty-two dollars and fifty cents. Thank you for shopping here. Also, I can tell you're new to the area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet. Not too long, I would assume. All right, well, have a good day, and here are your groceries. Thanks, you too. He's probably the killer. I don't know. Oh, God. You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. What do you want? I do have some wishes, but I think it's best they remain unspoken. Be careful, and don't let me catch you all alone again. I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. What a lovely guy. That actually got me, by the way. I kind of... It was a mini poo. Like a tiny... Like a tiny turtle head. You know. The house is going to be open. I'm going to call it now. I can't actually remember anything else from this point. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. We sucked them out of our body. It's a weird fucking design for a kitchen and shit, by the way. There we go. Great. Knew that was gonna happen at some point. Welcome home. Great. You looked beautiful in the store today. Yeah, I don't think this is our ex, by the way. Can't wait to see you again. Getting closer. Is he inside or outside? I'm soon there. I don't actually know what happened there. There was a number and I, did, I missed it. Or what if I'm already there? Oh shit, I don't know what to do. I don't really know what I should be doing, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm here. Check the door. Why would you check the door? Why wouldn't you call the police? Get ready for a jump scare, guys. I don't think, should, should I open it? I'm gonna open it, fuck it. Another night. Dearest new resident, congratulations on settling in. You may believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I am with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. Why couldn't we just call the police there? We clearly have a signal. Is he in the, be in the back of the car? No, not now. Start, start. Please start, come on. Why now of all times? 
something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops, like, right now. He's in the house. I'm- I'm clenched. What's your emergency? Hi, I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, and texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at this. It's urgent. I understand. I'm dispatching officers to your location right away. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help is on the way. In the meantime, try and find a safe and secure location within your home. And make sure to lock the doors. The officer should be there soon. How do I lock the door? Oh, I see. Are there other doors? They're locked. That's locked. I'm not really sure what else I should do. I've definitely locked the doors now. Huh. I can't lock the windows, right? No. The doors are definitely locked. Please don't be a glitch. I was quite liking this. There's no extra back door. Right? The power's out. Do I just need to wait? I don't really know what else to do. Okay. Can I lock myself in a room? Is that what it wants me to do? Maybe I can lock myself in the toilet, right? Because that's like a secure location within the home, maybe. Apparently not. I'll be back when I figure out what's going on or if I need to reload or whatever, guys, okay? Alright, so we're back here. I had to replay the entire game. There's no checkpoints, no saving. Respect your player's time, guys. You need to have fucking autosave checkpoints in this year. We're not making a roguelite here or some bollocks like that. This is like a fucking... You know, I shouldn't have to replay 15 minutes of gameplay, including some unskippable bits, to get back to this point. You know, I hope it doesn't glitch again, but we'll wait and see. Um, I, I was enjoying this a lot. But we'll see what happens, okay? We'll see if this remains good, uh, or it's gonna have the same glitch again. He's not inside the house yet, I don't think, anyway. But I don't know what's gonna happen after this. I hope, it, I really hope it doesn't glitch again, because in principle, I think this is pretty decent, but having a game-breaking bug in a game with no saves is, uh, it's terrible. Like, it's really bad. Okay, good. Put the package down, please. Thank you. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, close it. Oh, no, we've got to try and drive away first. Fuck, I forget this shit. Alright, let's try and drive away. Car's not going to start. She's going to be like, oh, no, we're, we're, we're fucked. See, like, there's a, quite a lot of unskippable stuff like this, where the dialogue just plays out in this fucking game. And that's a problem if you can't say... Because I don't want to see it again! Okay, we can't lock that, right? Okay, we're calling the police.
police. They're gonna tell her. So, okay, lock the doors. Okay, I locked it. This is the other door. Might have glitched again. Unless I need to just walk around until something happens. But I don't think there are any more doors, unless I'm a complete idiot. Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. There we go. That didn't happen last time. It wouldn't continue. Help is on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. They did? Officers will be there any second now. Any second? I'm clenched. Alright, here they are. Why can I not see anyone? It appears that everything is under control now. Our officers apprehended the man in a white van outside your residence. We're bringing him for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. That was Grandpa. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. Okay. Good. Progress. Phew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things can get back to normal now. It should be safe now. Let's head to the basement outside and restore the power. This is... We're gonna get knocked over the head or something. Oh, this is not gonna work. This is bad. I love the way the police didn't even come and talk to us, by the way. <laughs> they didn't even interview us or take a step. Like, yeah, whatever. That didn't sound good, did it? The power should be back on now. We're gonna get knocked out. We're gonna get knocked out. Or killed. Or knocked out and killed. I'm clenched. Jump scare. Come on. I know you're coming. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. He's gonna be in the bath room. Let's get some lights on. We're gonna take a nap in the bath or some shit, and then we'll see like someone peeking. I'm very moist right now. Ah, oh, nice and relaxing. Finally, a moment of peace. But why would that stranger go so far from me? Whatever, it's over now. I don't think it is. Hmm? That was a camera sound. I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. God, why are we such an idiot? Also, wouldn't you just have a... <laughs> wouldn't you you'd be using something that didn't make that sound, by the way? We are so dead, by the way. We are so fucking dead. What is that noise? I'm actually freaked out. Like, this is, like, not a a comfortable scenario to be in, and it's an entirely plausible one. Sounds like it's coming from the storage room. We have a storage room? I'm guessing it's the one downstairs. Yeah, it is. The noise is actually coming from in here. Oh god! Oh, it was a dream. Tony Hawk got us, but we're okay now. 
I should probably call to check how Liam is doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him. It's my fault. If I just stayed with Liam, he would have kept me safe. What the fuck is this line of thinking? No! No, of course not. What am I thinking? Let's put my mind on something else. But first, let's make sure the house is empty. I still don't feel safe. Why the fuck would I fucking talk to Liam? Who smashed the window. Which is never, like, just completely not okay behaviour. I'm guessing there's multiple endings. This might even be the wrong choice, but I don't care. Like, it's absolutely an obnoxious choice, if that is the case, by the way. Something looks off about that book. It does. I found the hidden room. Oh no. Look honey, we made the news. Pretty cool, right? 17th of the 8th, 2013. 27 year old Ashley was reported missing on August 15th by her husband, two days after she disappeared from her home. Last seen in their residence, Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions, with her husband emerging as a prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. Where she was last seen. This seems very sus. Why would you want to leave me? I have done nothing but be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. Great. It's locked. Well, this is batshit. Do we have an object? Oh shit, there's more in here. I can't replace you, Ashley. There's no one that is special as you. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want to end it like this. You left me with no other options. What the fuck did I do? How am I going to live on without you? What is the point of all this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me ten years later? She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will. No matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. Well, this is going well. It's probably about time I talk to Grandpa about what's going on here. This is crazy. Is Grandpa the killer? Oh god, that would be so fucked. Holy shit! Although he would recognize this beforehand. <laughs> Grandpa, are you there? Yes, something happened. A lot has happened. Ha a lot has been happening. I received creepy letters and been followed by someone. I don't think it's Liam. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains some psychotic things, to say the least. What? This is insane. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters? Are we being stopped by three people? And a hidden room? I've lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting the business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person you bought this place from? That would definitely be the case. I remember his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. Well, we found a trace. It was a talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery and I didn't have time to bring my charger with me. Are you fucking kidding me? You didn't bring a charger? Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. That is true. Ah, <sighs> God, we're such a fucking idiot. Why did- I know we were under pressure, but we could have just bought one. Right? I'm also used to, like, really convenient stuff. Like, I could same-day delivery a charger to my house. But that's because I live in a small country. It's a bit different, I would imagine, in a, a big country. I don't know where this is set, so... <laughs> oh, fuck me! Actually shat myself. I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. I've also done a good job of including all the rooms and not just having them there as window dressing, which is nice. I'm gonna be honest, if I'd said that, if, if, if I was Grandpa, right, and they said that to me on the phone, what they'd said, and then my the phone had gone dead, I'd have called the police to do a wellness check. There is nothing of use in here. There's a fucking key! I guess we should remember that for now.
There has to be Grandpa, right? No way! No fucking way! Not a million years is that Grandpa! Hi, sorry if I scared you. I had to come clean. Uh, I had to just come clean about something. Of course you do. You're the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Liam told me to do it in the hopes you'd take him back to feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt sorry for you. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you leave now, please? Of course. I'm sorry again. Wow, what a fucking dickhead. I mean, it's still not the same as the, the, the murderer is still at large, for sure. Probably living under a house, I'm going to guess. Some decent scares in this, though. Like, they, they are well done. It's night already. We never found a weapon. Yeah, I can't pick up this key, so... I'm guessing it's going to be important at some point. Did that come from the bedroom door? Grandpa? Oh, fuck me! You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, the police think they got the person behind this, and you don't know where I am. There is nothing that can stop me anymore. What do I do? I know. I followed down the other path I saw when I first got here. Maybe I can find neighbours that will help me? We're leaving the house? This is a terrible fucking idea. Go. Go. This is such a bad idea. This is one of the worst ideas anyone has ever had. This is intense. I like it. I like how intense this is, actually. Like, I thought it was kind of janky when I first played it, but, uh, when I first played the demo, but this has actually been pretty decent. <sighs> Fuck. That's a bit weird, right? This is gonna go around right to where to up inside the house. I feel like we're getting towards the conclusion of this. I feel like this has escalated dramatically at this point. Blood? That's Liam. What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? She is mine. And only mine. I think that answers that question. Which way am I running? Oh, here's his dead wife. With the head missing, of course. I think these are Ashley's remains. What a sick and twisted individual husband is. I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Should probably leave. Oh, it's the guy from the store, like I said. Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. So it was you who'd been sending the letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but that doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care. How you look is more than enough. Come here, I've been waiting so long for this. I have to run before it's too late. That was a weird delay there. <laughs> well, Liam isn't going to be saving me, because he is dead. The cops are here. Well done! For lawless performance, I didn't get caught once! Hell yeah! Survived the stalking. The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. 
He actually did the sensible thing in the horror game and contacted the authorities? You hurry back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. Oh my god, a sensible reaction. I was like, I would have done that, but he actually did it! When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst may have happened. He called the police. No, you- okay, he didn't do it as I thought. Okay, well you're an idiot, Grandpa, but still, at least you saved it. It. <laughs> at least you saved them. He called the police instantly and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was nothing else. Was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he'd actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Leon's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. The psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Liam and almost Kate ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. Thanks for playing. I thought this was actually pretty decent. Aside from the glitch that made me have to restart, this was a pretty good little horror game. Uh, you did a good job, uh, Corvin. Uh, I enjoyed this overall quite a lot, actually. Uh, good little experience. Anyway, uh, let's go to another game. Alright, this one is called... This one is called There's Something in the Ice. Which is a good name. It's got, it's got potential. You can turn off head bobbing. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Can limit the frame rate as well so it doesn't go into, like, explode. Alright, this looks promising. There's something in the ice. Might be excellent. In 2015, a team of scientists from the Arctic station Zarya took ice samples for research from a depth of two kilometers. Just as they were about to return to base, a severe snowstorm began. Once they reached the base, they went down into the old bunker, a security protocol instructed them to do. I like the double subtitles, it's very nice. Snowstorm, welcome to the bunker. Oh my god, hello! Victor, thank god, hi. Victor? Listen, remind me why we work in this godforsaken abandoned hole. Are you talking about the Arctic? this Cold War bunker. About the bunker, it's so creepy here. Yes, it's scary for me here too. And regarding your question, you remember that strong storm that started and we had to come down here? Plus, it's good that there's an old laboratory down here. That way we didn't have to move the equipment from the station. Yes, I remember, the question was rhetorical. God, in two years with this, you still haven't learned to understand jokes, Victor. Well, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Okay, what about those samples we found? You'd better ask our microbiologist about that. Okay, I'll go ask. Alright, she hasn't got a name. My current objective- oh, Maya! Is the microbiologist. Game does not have- CURSE A LOCK! Hello Maya, how are things going here? It's good that there's equipment here, and we can properly study the samples. That's what I'm asking. Well, what do you think? What did we find? I'm not exactly sure yet, but it looks like some kind of microorganism. What do you mean by microorganism? Looks like we found what we were looking for, Thomas. We need to examine these samples to understand exactly what they are. Let's observe further. Okay, I'll contact the station. The storm should have reached them by now. I'll find out if they went down to the shelter. I should contact the station and see how they're doing. Alright, where the fuck was the radio? Oh, I remember! I remember where the radio room is! You see, wandering around looking for Victor for like 27 hours meant that we could find this easier. Out of the station, Zari was calling. Can you hear me? I repeat, Zari is calling. Can you? Uh... I can hear you, Zari. 
How are you? How you doing there? Did you manage to go down to the shelter? Yeah, we're here. It's the guy from King of the Hill. Fine. Only our newcomer turns out to be claustrophobic. He doesn't seem to be doing too well with his tight quarters. Who even sent him down here? Damn scientist. Well, uh, he did. That someone from government insisted on his transfer to the station. Well, of course they did. By the way, Ma said you guys found something interesting. I don't know yet. Whatever this is interesting. She's trying to find out what we found. This is badly translated. Okay, keep us posted. We'll continue to explore that rock we came across yesterday. And you keep us informed. Over. Okay. Over. All right. What next? Pour some tea in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure that's where Victor was. Pretzel, I'm about to throw you out the room, little numkin, because you're being very annoying right now. I love you, you have a lovely face, but you constantly are moving, and you're nearly disconnecting everything from the computer. I need to pour some tea and rest a bit. I thought you were about to get killed. Damn it, Victor, why the hell are you creeping up? I almost poured boiling water on you. Sorry, Thomas. Maya's calling you. She says she's discovered something. Okay. Should have had some rum. Hi, Maya. Oh, it cut tapped out again. Excellent. Hey, Thomas. What's up, Maya? You just won't believe it. You won't belly believe it. Take a look at this. Okay. I'm not gonna put the mug down. <gasps> I understand what's happening! I didn't know what a microorganism is, by the way, yet I'm a scientist working in a bunker in the Arctic. What did I just see? You just saw an ancient organism awakening after being frozen in ice for thousands of years. How is this possible? I don't know. We need to report this as soon as possible and get down to research. Do you have everything you need here? Not quite everything that is needed, but there is. We need to somehow send a sample to our guys from the Institute. Agree. Okay, you keep researching. I'll go take a rest. <laughs> you keep researching. I'll do fuck all. Contact the Hawaiian Institute of Microbiology. Tell them what we found. Maya, describe everything to them in detail. Congratulations, guys. Great job. Who's saying that? I'll go take a rest. Maybe then the storm will be over, and then we'll think about how to send the samples to the laboratory in Hawaii. I think that's me. That's meant to be me thinking, I'm guessing. Oh, I need to read a book on the sofa with a mug of tea. Okay. That yellow stain isn't normally there, guys, I promise. Well, what was that? What are these sounds? I need to find the guys. Oh no. They're all gone. Maya, Victor, are you here? Stupid piece of... Why are they saying it together? <laughs> what happened? Have you contacted Hawaii? They didn't get in touch. Damn radio doesn't even work anymore. Just static. Oh, it's probably because of the storm. Yeah, most likely. Or maybe it's because it's a Cold War bunker and all the equipment is older than we are. Yeah, okay, I'll try and fix this thing and you can do something else for now. Please don't be a puzzle, 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 please don't be a puzzle. Okay. It wasn't a puzzle. Thank fuck for that. Okay, I don't- oh, check what the sounds are. I don't actually hear anything. You alright, Nomkins? How are you guys doing? Everything's fine? Are you bored? Well, of course, it's boring here. They also have no food or water. Oh, your bowls are empty. You guys want to eat, right? I will bring it now. 
Bring the dogs some food and feed them. The dogs are gonna kill, die, okay? I feel like Head Bob is on. I feel like this is fairly nausea inducing this fucking movement. Like, it's not the worst I've seen, but I don't like it. Alright, here we go. Enjoy, papillas. There you go. Good job, guys. Bon appetit. Soon the storm will end and we will come out of here together. We will breathe fresh arctic air. We'll play in the snow again. Be patient just a little longer. Look at the nomkins. They're so nom and they're so dead. Objective? I'll go to the kitchen and pour myself another cup of tea. Well... I'll go and mainline some heroin. Then I'll feel much better. Well, what are you going to do? I'll rest a bit and continue trying to fix the radio. That's not what I'm talking about. The radio works. It's just that the signal can't get through because of the storm. I'm talking about you and Maya. What do you mean? Come on. I can see the way you look at her. Don't make this up, Vic. We are scientists and we don't have time for office romances. I'm a scientist who doesn't know what a microorganism is. <laughs> well, okay, I like her. So what? Well, why are you waiting? Life is too short. I, I once missed my chance with a beauty from the Institute. Why did you miss it? When we get home, you can catch up some deep world building here, guys. Holy shit. Nope. It was a very long time ago. I see. She worked with me on a project. And we seemed to get along. Then I asked her out and we had a good time. What happened next? Nothing. I was sent to Cronenheim Station. And then here. So three years have passed. Yeah, our work is merciless when it comes to our personal lives. <sighs> yeah. Why am I telling you this? Because you work together, and for a long time. For you, work is not a hindrance, but rather a connecting link. So go to her, and talk about something. We've been stuck in this bunker for God knows how long. Damn romance. Okay, Victor, you are right. Life is too short. I'll go check with her to see how the work on the samples is going, and maybe we can talk about something else. I'll try and cast a bait. Yeah, yes! Find out from her how things are going with the samples. And don't forget to ask her to examine your sample. <laughs> I'll go to jail. What a joke you are, Vic. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, yeah. I was already told about this. I'll just take it. Can you look at my sperm, Maya? Thanks. I mean under a microscope. Not in a sexual context. <laughs> okay, don't be upset about that girl. She is also a scientist. She understands everything. If everything went well for you, then maybe she's waiting for you. You seem like a grown man. You are so naive, Thomas. Go already. Find out about the samples. Those samples. Samples. In your pants. <laughs> oh my god! I got it! God! What the fuck was this conversation? By sample, I mean your dick. In your pants. Hey, Thomas. You won't believe it. Maya, how are you doing here? I discovered something interesting here. These organisms respond to light. How's that? I did a little experiment. I shined a laser on them and they seemed to go into hibernation. Activity dropped sharply. But when I turned off the laser, activity was restored. After I noticed this, I decided to try placing them in an airtight box that didn't let any light in. And you know what? What? They've multiplied. Wow! Yes, can you imagine? I kept the box in the dark just for a minute, and they doubled in number. They like to have sex with the lights off. How is this possible? They reproduce in the dark? It looks like it. And I noticed something else. What, what, what? When I conducted an experiment with light, I dimmed the lights in the room and began to observe. I saw the most active of them seem to devour the weak and less active and become larger in size. And what does this mean? Let me try to explain. Imagine if wolves would eat old or sick wolves from their pack, and then become bigger, more active, and stronger than before. Sounds interesting. <sighs> that's right. And to be honest, it scares me a little. Okay, I think that's enough work for today. We did a good job, especially you, Maya. That's for sure. I'm tired as a dog. It's already late. We should go get some sleep. Maybe the storm will be over in the morning. Yeah. I hope so. I feel uneasy in this bunker. Me too. Well, okay. 
I'll go to sleep then. Okay, I guess I'm too. God, the the translation of this Good is night, so bad. Anne. Sweet dreams, Thomas. Good night to you too, Maya. I swear the other games in this franchise franchise other games by this dev weren't so badly done. I should have asked her to tea or something. What a fool I am. <laughs> What the fuck is this dialogue? It's so shit! I'm, we're gonna wake up and everyone is gonna be dead, by the way. Who the fuck is snoring when there's no one else in the bunk, by the way? Oh, it's Victor in the bunk, in the bed over there, okay. <sighs> I'm tired as I am. I don't like. Tired as. Is that even a phrase? Tired? A dog's tired? There's something in the ice. Got a little dark here. What happened to the light? Probably the wiring is damp. I'll ask Victor to check. Where is Victor? He's dead. Oh! In the dark they multiply. In the dark they wait. In the dark they latch on to the danglies. And never let go. <laughs> oh shit. What, Maya? Whoa! What happened here? The puppy is a dead, guys. The puppy is a definitely dead. It's damn dark in here. I'm not going in here without a flashlight. Okay. I think I saw a flashlight somewhere in the bedroom. That was a flashlight? Very easy to get confused. But yeah, we don't seem to understand the basic shit of science that we have been hired to be here for, I had assumed. Like, <laughs> it's like we're being talk spoken to like we're a child. What the hell? Did I miss something? Oh, noises. Damn, great. It looks like all the power has gone out. Good thing I have a flashlight. Alright, I'm going to check the puppy ears. I'm going to guess they're all dead. The radio is also... Oh, we have to go to the radio room first. Zara, it's Zep. Huh? Okay. Over. This is station over. Zep. Calling. Zep, I hear with interference. We have some problems with the electricity here, over. Zarya, it, you hear what we found? Very dangerous. Zep, it's hard to hear interference. Please repeat, over. Zarya. I repeat, the stone that found this, the remains of the at, at this, more than 8,000 years old. I was running the station, please repeat. Heavy interference, I cannot hear you. Zarya, be. She's just saying the same shit again! Find, maybe, dangerous, that stone. <laughs> Which we found. It's something ancient. Radiation. Background can simply colossal. Your sample possibly related. Be careful. I think I'm trying to warn us, guys. Holy shit, stupid old radio. Fucking storm. I can't understand shit. Well, great. Now the connection's completely lost. I think I can make out a couple of words. They were saying something about their find, about that stone. It seems there was something else, something about radiation and danger, and also it seems the word ancient, but I could be wrong. What does ancient mean? I don't know. I don't know, Shaggy. What does ancient mean? Um, well, that was uh, some kind of nonsense. I hope everything's okay there. The puppy is a dead. Bro, it's so cold in here. Yeah, the Nomkins are dead. Why are you barking here? What happened? 
Scared of the duck? Something's in the vent, right? Oh, Pretzel can hear them through my headset and she's just, like, scared. Yeah, something was in the vent. I'll leave the door open, they can run free. Seems the dogs are afraid of the dark. I need to bring them a gas lamp. Maybe it will make them feel safer. This is not a good idea. Because they're going to be dead when we come back. There was one next to my bed. I wonder where Maya and Victor went. Okay, I feel the head bob is on. This is making me slightly nauseous. So I'll just try the opposite. But I don't think it does make any difference. No, you still just lurch around like you're drunk the whole time. <sighs> it's okay, Pretzel. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. The other puppy is a... Fine. I'm not running because it makes me ill to run in this game. Oh yeah, that's not good. Okay, they're not dead yet. That's it guys, don't be afraid. Now you have some light. You have food and water, so be good little dogs while I look for Maya and Victor. I'm leaving the thing open. Maybe that'll save their lives. This doesn't look good. It's stuck. Not gonna comment on the shitloads of blood? No? Why is this door open and where does this blood come from? There is no plus, by the way, to fucking head bob in any game. Like, it's all, it doesn't add to immersion, it's just shit. All it does is make a game less accessible. Keep looking for Maya and Victor. Alright. Pretty sure this route... What the fuck was that? Whatever it was, it bit me! Um... Oh man, what is this? There's some kind of growth? They are organic. I need to find the guys as soon as possible. I think I might have opened the door, that thing, by the way. I did check the room with the generator. I think I heard something from there. Oh, wow. I don't know what room that is, by the way. It's not... That's how you pronounce that. I was going to say, this door's going to open. Now it's clear why the generator turns off. This thing, it's everywhere. Oh, fuck! I don't know what just happened. I think I was looking at the, the wrong bit of the fungus. Okay. I'm checking the generator room game. It's making farty noises. I want a horror spoof of the thing called the thong, if it hasn't been done already, with a killer thong. 
Continue searching for Victor and Maya. Alright, the dogs are still alive at the moment. Well, I think it wants us to go in the toilet. Victor and Maya! Did you just get flushed? They're okay. Like, it's a killer thong, right? And instead of turning into people, it jumps onto people and then shrinks. What a way to go, huh? Oh god, this is our water. Yeah, we should probably leave. The thing is spreading and alarming great. I wonder where it is, and where did Myra and Victor go? I'm starting to wor- You're only just starting to worry? Oh, blood. What the hell is going on here? I think someone just cut themselves while shaving, right? Probably, uh, Maya trimming the mound. <laughs> Victor, nope. And there's no one here. Check the exit from the bunker. Okay. I don't know where that is. It's probably... Maybe... Oh, there's a vent here that looks very suspicious, by the way. I'm guessing we're going to need to go in that at some point. Oh, this wouldn't open before. That means, uh, entrance. No exit. Yeah, it doesn't look too accessible, does it really? It doesn't look like the doors were open. They can't be opened at all. Snow flew into the cracks between the doors and froze. I do hate when I get snow in my crack. It's a nightmare. Alright, where else should I look? Oh! Probably in the ominous red light. What is this? There's a whole other floor to this place? Oh no. It's very moist down here. It's so damp here. Oh, that's the name of the trophy. It's so moist. Hello? That was definitely Maya. I'm really good at identifying voices. Ow! Something just bit me. Seems like something bit me underwater. I like the JPEG of blood, by the way, that's on the screen. Um, fuck these gross. They're already everywhere. Check the dogs. Oh no, the puppy ears. The poor puppy ears, guys. This has to be it. This is the end of the puppy ears. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, they're dead. Oh no. No, no, leave them. Shit. No. Oh, it's okay. Pretzel, it's okay. Don't worry. No other puppy is a hurt. It's alright. They're not real. Pretzel's scared. Well, the puppy is all dead now. Uh, yeah, it's not good. Alright, well, I've checked them, get objective. It still says check the dogs as my objective. I'm not really sure what else I'm meant to be doing. Oh, 
well. There's nothing to click on or interact with here. They didn't even touch their food. Yeah, I don't see it. Maybe if I just walk around a bit, it'll change objective. I don't really know what else to do. Fuck, something dragged the dogs into the ventilation system. Try and contact... Blah, blah, blah. Station Zara is calling. I don't know if you can hear me, but we have an emergency. Two of my team are missing. I can't find them. There's some kind of evil here. It seems something killed our dogs. There's some strange organic substance everywhere. Please answer. I don't know what to do. Please, please answer. Oh, I guess we're just leaving. I need to get out of here. The thing is already everywhere and spreading very quickly. And what it did to the, g the g dogs. God, I'm over it. Get out the bunker. Isn't that... Oh, God. There's a fucking hell. I missed what you said. He turns his flash... Oh, my God. Everywhere is just goo. He says something about an antenna, but I don't really know. I need to move. There's something coming from behind me. Oh my god! Holy shit. The place is fucked. I need to clear this where this snow. I can't do it with my hands. It seems there's a shovel in the bunker somewhere. Somewhere near Maya's laboratory. Find a shovel to clear the snow. Okay. But yeah, I don't like uh, when dogs die in, in horror games. I feel it's like really, really cheap way of doing scares because most people think uh, papillas are very numb and don't want to see them hurt, you know? Alright, alright, that's it. Hi! Oh, great. I'm guessing that's a humanoid one. Go, 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 go. I will say this is quite atmospheric. I think I hear dogs. Are they alive? They are not alive. Just ignore them. Just dig the snow. They're, they're, they're being absorbed. Come on, come on! I'm pretty sure that was Victor, by the way. Fuck, it's cold. The storm doesn't seem to subside. Got the trophy. The storm does not subside. I need to try and contact the station on the radio, but when we left the base, we closed the doors except for the recreation room on the first floor. The keys must be there. Okay. Do you mean American first floor? Or European first floor? Are they signal lights? There's a lot of jam. Damn, doors to the bunker, they're open. The guy's really gotten it out of there. Find the keys to the radio station on the recreation room on the first floor. Well, this is probably the rec room, and there's something glowing, so this is a strong start. Here it is. Hey, can you hear me? Please! Please, somebody! Victor, where have you gone? I woke up and you weren't there. There's some crazy shit going in the bunker. Something took the dogs away. They're gone. Thomas? Is that you? No, it's someone God, else. I'm so glad to hear you. Listen, I need help. What happened? Where are you? I'm in the hangar. I went to get fuel for the snowmobiles. I got pinned here. I, I think I'm bleeding. Don't move, I'll be right there. Okay, I'm waiting. Please hurry. I don't think it's him. I'm gonna be honest. Victor's in the hangar. The hangar is over there. Okay. What the? There is light and it seems like someone is knocking on the door. Oh, this seems like a bad fucking idea. What is this light? It's the same piece of ice we brought here to the base. Okay, good. Hey, who's there? Victor, please, let me out. Victor, open up. 
What's gotten into you? Maya, what happened? Thomas? Is that you? It's me. Why are you locked? It was Victor. He began to behave strangely. He tried to attack me. I screamed, hoping to wake you up. He blocked my path to you, and I got out of the bunker through another exit. I bet Maya's the bad one. What do you mean? Did he attack you? Yes. He chased me all over the bunker. But I was able to get out, and he ran after me. When I ran outside, he caught up with me, and locked me here in the lab. What the fuck? For what? Why? I don't know. Please, let me out of here. Are the other doors also closed? How can I get you out? Yes. He closed all the doors in the laboratory. I don't know. Maybe there are spare keys to the lab in the break room. Maybe. I'll go look. You okay here? Yes. I'm okay. But hurry up. He can come back at any moment. Don't be afraid. I will be right back. I'll be right back. What movie is that from, champ? I'll be right back. What the hell's going on here? Maya seems to be safe. I need to help Victory. Should I have the keys to the laboratory. At the same time, I'll ask him about his situation. Okay. Uh, how long do I have to wait for you, Thomas? I think I'm getting worse. I'm on my way. Listen, I met Maya locked in the laboratory. I'm very interested in what happened to you two. She said she chased you, then locked her in the lab. What the hell? Don't trust her. It wasn't like that. She attacked me and tried either bite me or scratch me. It was I who ran away from her and ran into the cold, just to escape. I lured her into the laboratory at the base and locked her there. I wanted to refill the snowmobiles before waking you up, but I'm stuck. Wait, I'll be there soon and we'll figure it out. Yeah, I feel like this is a massive trap, cunningly disguised as a trap. I hope everything is okay with Victor. He is definitely not okay. Thank you, Nin. Hey. Finally. Fuck, Victor. There's a lot of blood here. What happened? Uh, you sure know how to calm me down. I don't know. I just went to get fuel to start at least one of the snowmobiles, and suddenly all these boxes fell on my feet. Why are these so heavy? Uh, I don't know. You never tell me what they were storing in the hangar. What happened with you and Maya? Let's talk about the situation with Maya while you bleed to death. Do you really want to fucking talk about this right now? I'm bleeding, man. Help me, please. How do I do this? The box looks heavy as hell. I think I saw a pry bar in the hangar here. Like a long metal piece. Ah, bring it. Maybe this way you can lift the box and I'll try to get out. Okay, I'll look for Hurry. it. Hurry! I can't feel my legs anymore. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll be right back. This guy's fucked. But it probably means that Maya is uh, a monster. Or maybe she's like, I've got to preserve my discovery. Well, someone just locked us in there. What the? That didn't sound good, did it? He's fine, guys. Victor? What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? Victor turned into a lot of jam. No fucking way. Victor! Fuck, I need to find the keys. Get Maya out and get the hell out of here. Do you have the keys, Victor? Oh, you did. Excellent. Oh god, I'm sorry, Victor. You won't need the keys anymore. Fuck it, scattered boxes. I need to find another way. Maybe there's a passage somewhere between the boxes? This is a terrible idea. Oh, did I just die? I can't tell. I don't know. Just run. Just run. I need to free Mario as quickly as possible and then contact Wolf Station and call for help. Fuck, Maya's light's on. It's very bright. She can attract this thing. Yeah, but isn't it weak to light? Didn't we discuss this? Turn off the light, Maya. Please turn off the light. Woo! It's a big boy. Not entirely sure what I meant to do here. To avoid getting killed by spider thing. 
use that. I understand where I have to go. I mean, what that is, is a stock Unity asset. I just got hit. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Thank you, Tomato, for the gift sub. Shit. Maya, are you here? Whisper. Oh god. Um, I can't tell what's happening. Find Maya. Ping it. I need to quickly contact the guys from station and ask for help. Go to the radio room on the second floor. Okay. Is this the second floor? Can't tell where the fuck I'm going. Ah. <laughs> That was a little intense. I guess we need to go up here and maybe over this side instead. Here's the radio room. There's a large antenna on the roof of this building, and the signal should be better. I think there are some sounds coming from the bedroom. I need to check. No, you don't! Use the fucking radio, then leave. Who cares? Everyone is dead. Hi, Maya. Maya, I thought he devoured you. How did you- I managed to escape just as he broke through the roof. What is this creature? I have no idea, but I saw something strange in the bunker. At first I saw something that looked like a worm, then I noticed that in the room which ran out of some growths appeared. It seemed organic. Growths? Yes, then I decided to look for you and noticed the growths in other rooms too, and then dogs. What about the dogs? They're dead. Something dragged them into the ventilation. Oh my god. Yeah, what is this? What exactly is going on here? When you and Victor fell asleep, I couldn't because of Victor's snoring. So I decided to go and do a couple more tests. It haunted me that these organisms, after so many years, were so active. I started watching them again. What's an organism? To go Is that like an orgasm? And when I returned, I saw a broken test tube on the floor. Apparently, I accidentally touched it and dropped it while getting up from the table. Oh, Maya. What? I didn't do it on purpose. Anything can happen. Anyway, we have a whole block of ice with these samples. Well, I just took a rag and wiped the floor, then took the bucket of water and rag to the toilet. After that, I went to lie down on the sofa in the living room. What happened? Why did Victor attack you and chase after you? When I woke up, I went to the toilet, and Victor was there. He just stood there, looking in the mirror. You know, like a zombie. And next to him, I saw an overturned bucket with a rag, and it seemed to me that the rag was covered in some kind of slime. What the fuck? So I asked Victor, but he didn't answer. When I came closer, I saw his empty gaze. He turned to me, but it was like he was looking through me, you know? And then what? He reached out to me and grabbed my hand. I started screaming and struggled to escape. I tried to run away from him towards you and wake you up, but he blocked my path. And then I remembered that in that part of the bunker, there was a way out. I was so scared, I just ran away. Please forgive me, Thomas. It's okay. By the way, where did you get your Botox done? No, it's not okay. Victor ran after me, caught up with me at the base, and locked me inside the laboratory. It felt like something was controlling him. It was as if something was giving him instructions. Fuck. That's for sure. Fuck, that's for sure. As if he heard a call. He walked toward the hangar, and after about 15 minutes, you came. We need to find him. Together, we can handle him. Tie him up? Call for help? Um, he is dead. We can't do this. What do you mean we can't do it? Victor is dead. What? How? What the hell? That thing killed him. I tried to help, but I couldn't. Damn. What the hell have we gotten ourselves into, Thomas? I don't know, Maya, and to be completely honest, I don't even want to know. All I want to do is get out of here. So let's get out of here. What's the plan? We need to contact the station. The antennas here are much more powerful, so we can easily contact them. Okay. 
Sounds like a good plan. Yes, we will contact them and ask them to take us out this hell. What about this creature? The two of us definitely can't handle it. Let's not act like heroes. We'll just call for help and then we'll tell them what happened here and then let them decide what to do. Okay, that sounds reasonable. There's no electricity, but we can try and power the radio from batteries. So I'll go to the hangar to get them and you stay here. It's safer that way. And Mario, if anything happens to me... Hey, nothing will happen to you. Okay? Yeah, okay. Be here. Barricade all the doors. For the love of God, don't turn the light. Looks like the light attracts them like a bull's red rag. Okay. Do you mean like a red rag to a bull? That would be the actual English sentence. Why didn't we get the batteries, by the way, when we were in the fucking hangar? Also, that's what happens if you have so much Botox that your entire face can't move. I think a fucking spider has bit me on my foot. It really fucking hurts. I need to be careful, the creature is somewhere nearby. Great. Wonderful. Oh! The bull sacks have spread. I will say, for a, like, a fairly low budget asset indie game, right, this isn't bad. Like, it's, it's, it's obviously really low budget, but it's done the atmosphere pretty well and it looks cool. Like, I think, I think it's pretty decent for what it is. Battery one. Okay. Now we need to take these batteries to the radio room. Is that two? And plug the radio into them. We can finally call for help. You left me, Thomas. Oh shit, Victor's here. He said you left me, Thomas. I can't pick up the other one, so... Uh... Victor's voice said you left me. Oh, that's creepy. Especially as he's still there. Yeah, I can't pick up the other one, so I'm guessing that this is all the only one I need. Go back to the radio room and connect it to the batteries. Whew! This is fine. Everything's fine. It's possible we need to come back a few times, yeah. I might regret running, but I'm running. I regret running. But... Okay. We seem remarkably cool about this. Is this the wrong one? This is the wrong one. It, no it nibbled my bum, but then gave up. Did I just go outside of its aggro range? Possible. Maya? Barely escaped. Maya, I found the batteries. Now I'll connect them and we'll contact the guys. Maya, where are you? Oh, she left a note. Thomas, there are samples left in the laboratory on the third floor that we examined. We must take them with us so we can study them properly in more suitable conditions. Fuck off! I know you're mad right now, but what kind of scientist would we be if we didn't take these samples? I'm not a scientist, okay? I admit it. I'm just a bus driver. I fucking lied on the application form and said I had a PhD, and nobody checked. And now, I'm in the fucking Arctic, with a fucking gigantic fucking spider baby thing trying to eat my fucking face, my dead friend telling me I let him down, and you being an insane bitch. All I wanted to do was get a slight pay rise. All I wanted to do was that, but instead, I'm gonna fucking die. Brilliant. We must understand what it is. <laughs> we have two. P.S. Contact the guys from Blur and call me in for help. I'll be there soon. I'm Fuck my stupid. We need to get rid of this crap, not keep it with us. Zarya Station, answer. Can you hear me? This is Zarya. Thomas. Is that you? What the hell's going on over there? Maya said that you and Victor died. And 
Now I hear your voice loud and clear. What the fuck? Wait, why did she say that? When? Uh, about an hour ago, Maya contacted us. She was crying. She said that she's Victor infected. Went crazy and attacked you and her. She said he fucking killed you. Then after about 15 minutes, we heard a one-way transmission. That was you that told us what happened with the dogs and some gross that filled the bunker. We tried to answer you, but you didn't hear us. It literally is Hank Hill, by the way. Contact Maya, but she didn't answer us either. Damn, that's some real fucked up going on here. It looks like there's something in these R samples we found. Ice samples we found, not R samples. Maya said it was some kind of ancient microorganism. I don't know what that is, <laughs> but it evolved very quickly. Now this is no longer a microorganism, but a full-fledged monster running around our base, and it killed Victor. That sounds crazy, Thomas. Seriously, are you trying to make jokes there? Fuck, this is no joke. It fucking tore Victor to pieces, dragged the dogs into the fucking ventilation. The whole bunker is overground with some kind of organic matter, and I have no idea what the hell it is. Please get us out of here. Please, I repeat, this is not a joke. Okay, everything will be fine, Thomas. Calm down. Did you say us? No fucking way can I calm down. Yes, me and Maya. She's waiting for me in the lab upstairs. So Maya is alive? Yes, here I am. Maya and this terrible monster. Okay, calm down, Thomas. Stay safe. We're already getting ready. We'll be there in about a half an hour. In what fucking sense within half an hour? It takes about ten minutes to fly here with a helicopter. I know you're on edge, but have you seen this weather? The helicopter will blow away on takeoff. Exactly. Fucking storm. Sorry, there's so much going on here, but the storm doesn't seem like a problem. I understand, Thomas. Listen, we'll be there soon. Most importantly, stay in a safe place. You understand? How did you understand is what you said, actually. I understand. Waiting for you. Please hurry up. I don't know how long we can hide from this creature. Over. Oh, did you hear that whisper? It said, she's a liar, Thomas. She's On the third floor is Maya. I need to go upstairs and check Maya's okay and hurry up. Guys, be here soon. I reckon Maya is super evil. Oh yeah, and Victor just whispered in my ear, she's a liar, Thomas. At the same time, I'll ask her why she said that Victor killed me. It's probably because she's, uh, you know, part alien now or some shit. This all looks like a dead end. This is the third floor. So why the fuck can I not go this way? Am I being an idiot? Don't What is this? That is the jump! Guys, this is the jump! Why is that even in the game? What is that? That was just nothing! A big fat shitload of nothing. I can't figure out how to get up there, so, uh... Oh, my. Maybe I can get to it from the other stairs. He said, wait. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna ignore what dead Victor's saying in my ears. Yeah, this is the third floor, I guess. Oh yeah, the pus is here. Maya? <laughs> Maya, I see a Pete! Fuck, fuck, fuck! <laughs> what the fuck did you come here alone? Why did you need these samples? I told you to stay away and wait for me. Fuck, Maya! Probably should leave. Fuck! So what am I doing? Check the fuel in the snowmobiles. Okay. No fucking way. I won't wait here for my death. I need to get out of here on my own. I mean, an easy way of avoiding death seems to be not crawl into the fungus. I need to... Ch okay. Maybe Victor had them with it. Uh... Oh, Victor might have the key. We're going back to the fucking bunker? Are you fucking shitting? I hear the puppy is. Is that the dogs? Are they alive? Am I losing my mind? Empty. This is bad. This is really bad. Empty. That noise is horrible. Yeah, I know, little one. Pretz was freaked out again. They're all empty, game. What do I do? Okay, now what? 
I don't like that sound at all. Yeah, I know. I know, Papia. I don't think I want to check the dogs, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like if I do, I'll die. Fuck it, let's do it. An old house. We used to live there until we set up a recreation base in the main building of the base. Now there's nothing in this house. Okay. The dog sounds seem to just be looping. Come here, buddy. Yeah, this is bad. It's going towards the fucking thing now, anyway. There's no fear on any of the snowmobiles, so I'll have to find them. Surely it was somewhere in the hangar. There were many canisters there. Am I going crazy? Yeah, the dogs are sort of like just following us, the sound is. I didn't see what was there. I didn't see what was there, but I'm leaving. Find the fuel and the snowmobile keys in the hangar. Yeah, this is bad. Well, there's something here, first of all. Alright, everything's here. My god, poor Victor. You've already seen him three times. Chill out. Fuel can check. Snowmobile keys, check. Fuel the snowmobile, leave the base in the direction of Zarya Station. I need to fill the snowmobile up and get the fuck out of here. Run, Thomas. Yeah, shut up, Victor, I know. Okay? I'll run. Alright? Like, I'm sorry you got eviscerated. Oh, God! That actually made me jump. I think that's what was making the puppy a noise. It's probably what pulled them into the vents, right? Victor just said, save yourself. I'm running. Oh, I'm running. Oh, I'm running. Apparently this is us fueling it. Probably should you know, drive. I hope I don't have to drive this. Drive. Drive. Stop slowly looking around and drive, you fuck. Go, 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 go. Oh, the spider baby! I can't see shit, by the way. There's gunfire and screams. something underwater in the basement right oh we're infected i don't care about that did you listen to what i said the damn thing killed my victor and all the dogs we need to fucking burn everything that was on the base so this monster doesn't get out you do realize that we did ask you about what happened right it's our job yeah sorry so much just happened and thanks for getting me out of there no problem mr mcready okay we'll oh that's the right. name of the guy from the thing that's kurt russell's character in the thing it's mccready by the way not mcready though ai okay That was a thing reference. Oh. I'm in control. I thought that was the end of the game. Oh.
Arg, my head. Well, that's just like a sanitary place. We'll look in the mirror and we're going to be Maya. That's going to be the twist. How do you feel, Thomas? I'm okay, I just got a little headache. Who are you? Where am I? Don't worry. Everything is fine. You better get some rest. <sighs> Ah, oh, what the fuck? Well, how am I gonna rest without my green tea? I have no idea what to do now. I can't interact with the bed. Can't watch TV. Please don't be glitched. Oh, there we go. What the fuck is this? I guess we're meant to be having like a little episode. birth. Right out the sphincter. Told you it's gonna come out crawling. Are you okay? <laughs> I think he's fine. If it bursts out his ass, this game gets a ten out of ten, okay? It's like Dreamcatcher. Okay. I thought this was decent. Uh, I actually quite enjoyed this, actually. I think it's this guy's best game. Um, like, I just think it's better than their other titles so far. Like, each one of their games has been, like, an improvement. And I thought this was pretty good. So, yeah. I liked it. Uh, it this improved dramatically on the first and second one, actually. Like, it actually had, like, a cognitive storyline and some good scares. Minus points for the dogs dying and for scaring Pretzel, but um, she's hiding right now, by the way. Um, but she's generally, uh, generally, this is pretty good. It made me quite motion sick, though. I have been like trying not to vomit the entire playthrough. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been like hanging in there. Like I feel, I feel pretty rough right now. I feel like I'm probably look green. <laughs> I give this a 6 out of 10. I thought this was decent.
Like, it, it loses points for the dogs and the AI voices, but it's above average. And a six is above average. So, you know. It was a good use of lots of stock assets. I've seen the uh, spider baby. I think I always call it a spider baby. Uh, I've seen that asset a few times. Um, there were some things I hadn't seen before, asset-wise. Um, but I thought this was pretty good overall. I thought this was an enjoyable experience. Yeah. Not a bad game at all. And everything. Alright. Let's check out Gore Doctor. I'm sure this is going to be a lovely, relaxing stroll. Trapped in the unknown, under cover of night, a gang of thugs snatched you, leaving you disorientated. As you slowly awake, you find yourself in a strange medical-like facility, your senses still groggy from the sedative. Panic rises within you as you realise you're strapped in a wheeled stretcher and being transported through dimly lit corridors. Spooky dookie chat. So start of Silent Hill Homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking fool, he got a clue what's coming for him. <laughs> God, I feel this might be a wild ride, guys. Well, that's a very abrupt loading screen. You've suddenly awoken within the walls of a mysterious institution under the watchful eye of an enigmatic doctor. Confused and disorientated, you have no recollection of how you ended up here. Your sole objective now is to navigate this unfamiliar environment and discover a means of escape. <coughs> Where the fuck am I? I think this might be actual voices, but it's hard to tell. Welcome, Subject B3029, to my asylum for shattered souls. I am Apnel Gorberg, also known as the Gore Doctor, by those who couldn't comprehend my methods. They now rest in silent understanding. You may wonder why you're here. Well, soon you'll come to appreciate my efforts. Through my unique experiment, you'll unearth your true potential and discover that death is the ultimate liberation. Perhaps you pondered why life feels like an endless struggle. Unfulfilled dreams, pain wars, and the relentless chaos of existence. Soon you'll confront these questions within yourself and discover your true capabilities and the peace that only death can offer. Rest assured, if the common folk comprehend the transformative power of my therapy, they'd willingly seek me out, sparing me the trouble of coercion. As you delve into the depths of my treatment, you will confront the abyss within yourself. And if by some twisted miracle you emerge from the abyss alive, then I failed in my mission. Let the darkness consume you. Oh Jesus, that was a, a big chunk of lag there. A can? Hell yeah! VHS tape, who uses these these who uses them these days? I don't know. This guy, I guess. We can't play it, so. That actually made me jump. Jumped by lightning. There is a brain here, as well. A brain and blood. May need to tweak the settings a bit, because it's lagging to fuck. I kill you! Lovely. We've got the custodian room key. What's a VHS player? I don't understand. Apparently this is what we have the key for. Auto door unlocking is actually a surprisingly advanced thing lately. Horror? Oh no. In my game? I don't think so. Alright. Why did it let us in here? Oh, maybe to go into this office. This orifice. I hope this letter finds you well, Abnal. And even though I know these days must be impossibly tough for you, I wanted to extend my deepest condolences for the loss of your wife. I can't imagine the pain you're going through, and I'm truly sorry that her battle with illness ended this way. I know how tirelessly you worked on your innovative therapy to try and save her. Your dedication and love were evident in every effort you made. Sometimes life takes us down roads we never anticipated, and it's cruel reality when our best intentions don't yield the outcomes we hope for. 
I've been worried about you, my friend. Not just in terms of your physical well-being, but also your psychic state. Losing a loved one, especially a light partner, in an indescribable way. And I can only imagine the emotional turmoil you must be facing. I want you to know that I'm here for you, whenever you're ready to talk or if there's anything I can do to support you. I understand that grief can be an isolating experience, but please don't hesitate to reach out. Your friends care deeply about you and we want to be there for you during this difficult time. If you need someone to talk or simply share the burden, I'm here. Take the time you need, Abnil, but remember, you're not alone. Your heartfelt sympathy, Philip. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he hasn't made a murder facility. In case of emergency, call Dr. Gore. Keypad code is 2237. That's probably the important information there. Um, he's basically become Jigsaw. You know. That's loud. Dr. Gore and his close friend, Dr. Murder. Big fans of both of them, really. Jesus. Is that real? I don't know, because I was looking the other way, so I didn't see it. <laughs> when you miss the jump scare. Been doing it for years, guys. I'm totally used to it at this point in time. I could use more light. Brief medical observation. Mutant steroids with mitochondria administration. In the ongoing experiment, in evolving a mutant steroid infused with mitochondria, notable deformations were observed in the experimental subjects. Despite these deformations, a paradoxical finding emerged, a significant increase in lifespan compared to the control group. The observed deformations prompt further investigation into the underlying mechanisms. The persistence of these changes and their potential long-term effects on overall health necessitate continued monitoring. A comprehensive analysis of biochemical and genetic markers will be initiated to unravel the molecular pathways responsible for the observed effects. The brief report highlights the need for systematic and interdisciplinary approach to understand the implications of the mutant steroid with mitochondria. Further updates will be provided as the experiment progresses. Did you guys know that mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? That is a ladder that goes up into barbed wire? I can't see shit. Oh no, it goes up to a severed head with uh, tape over its mouth. Excellent. Very, very... Oh, hi! Oh, you're a mannequin. I was excited for a minute. Bring out the gimp! No idea what I just did, by the way. It's probably good, though, right? Headlamp. Oh, I'll take that, yeah. Oh, I've got a flashlight now. That's nice. Use the headlamp to look for a keypad code. It's going to be up here. 96669. Some kind of fate. What are numbers? So far, this is okay. Like, it's not great, but I played a lot worse. So far, we got a functioning video game. How long that will last for remains to be seen, but. Hopefully, everything will be fantastic and numb. This appears to be a dead end, so I'm a little worried, I'm going to be honest with you. Because I expect something bad's going to happen in here. you got to bear in mind, by the way, that my uh, standards have become so low. Okay, I know what to do. Uh, standards have become so low for video games uh, that anything that works, I feel, is above average. God, the lag in this. I'm going to turn the settings down a little bit because they're pretty... It feels pretty janky still. I'll put it on medium. 
Maybe that'll make it a little less laggy. Oh, that's like a, a little rat's body that I got stuck on <laughs> temporarily. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Holy shit, we had an intersection in a vent and there wasn't a jump scare of a crawly thing crawling? What is this? What are you doing to my video game? Flashlight is shit. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. This place is uh, quite big, this maze, by the way. Don't know what those are going to be. Teeth? I don't know. Well, this is the dead end. Did I see inside my own head there for a minute? Because I think I did. Don't you hate it when you see inside your own brain? Happens to the best of us though, you know? Those are different teeth. And this is the way forward by the looks of things. Hello! you. Hello? I barely... I forgot how to speak there temporarily. Just ignore me, okay? This game does have combat, by the way. So I'm intrigued to see how, it, how well that's going to be. Complete chapter one. We're experiencing a peculiar sensation. Unsure if what you witnessed is genuine and if you subjected to some form of medication. The institute appears deserted, adding to the unsettling atmosphere. As you delve further into its depths, you cling to the hope of uncovering answers amidst the eerie silence. I hear someone choking on a dick. Oh, hi. It's you. I don't have a ceremonial candle, wow. Don't you just hate it when you don't have a ceremonial candle? My beloved Abner, in this moment as my heart spills over with love for you, I want to offer my forgiveness and release any burden that may weigh on your soul. You need to know that I hold no blame or resentment towards you. Your unwavering dedication to saving me was a testament to the depth of your love. I understand the lengths you want to find a cure, to explore every possibility, but I want you to know that my illness is not your fault. Life's tapestry is woven with unpredictable threads, and our love was never defined by the number of days we had together. Please, my love, release the guilt that may consume you. Our love has always been worked... been enough, sorry. Our love has always been enough. Let us cherish the moments we've shared, the laughter and tears that have shaped our journey. Our connection transcends the limitations of this physical world. As I face the uncertainties ahead, my deepest desire is to see you live a life filled with happiness. Embrace the beauty in every day, pursue your dreams, and allow your heart to love again when the time is right. Promise me that you will continue to live and find joy. Thank you for being my rock, my strength throughout this challenging time. I carry with you my always and our love and will endure beyond the boundaries of mortality. I'm eternally grateful for the love we shared and I will be waiting for you on the other side, ready to embark on a new journey together. Yours eternity, Scarlet. Shut the fuck up, okay? I'm busy. Not you. The other one. There was someone else. I need to find some ceremonial candles. Apparently those aren't the ones. We need to resurrect her or some shit. I don't know. God. This looks like a fight. Look dangerous. I better avoid them when I'm unarmed. Oh, great. Stealth. I don't see anyone at the moment, which is making... Oh, they've seen me. Well, there was a man with a bag on his head, which is always good. Let's see if he follows in me in here and kills me. Or he gets lost. Alright, that's not a, oh. The door is locked, I need to find a key, okay. So this is probably one of the candles we need. That fucking everything in this room is like pills. Pills here. God, there's a lot of reading. Dear Mr. Crow, I'm writing to inform you of a significant change that will affect our beloved Willow Brooks Elementary. Starting from the end of this academic year, the school premises will undergo a transformation into a psychiatric hospital. This decision has been made after careful considerations by the relevant authorities to address the growing need for mental health services in our community. While it may come as a surprise, please rest assured that school board and healthcare professionals are committed to ensuring a smooth transition. We understand the emotional attachment and memories associated with Willow Brooks Elementary School, and we are dedicated to preserving its legacy. Alternative arrangements for primary education will be made for the students, and their well-being remains our top priority. 
We'll give the school community informed about the progress of this transition and provide opportunities for feedback and questions as we move forward. Your continued support and understanding during the transformation are greatly appreciated. Thanks for your cooperation, and please feel free to reach out if you have any concerns or require further information. We need this to be a trope, by the way. Fucking schools that become mental asylums or vice versa is, like, so fucking common in horror games lately. Like, more so than ever, I feel. You know? Like, it's just like fucking... There's a guy there. How isn't this not... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We finished the level? But what about the ritual? Dr. Goldberg is not just unstable. Who the fuck is this? Is this the lunch lady? But truly psychotic, his protégés have undergone a monstrous transformation, mon morphing them into some abhorrent breed of mutants who have formed their own cult within the confines of the Institute. With this horrifying realization sinking in, your desperation escapes intensi in escape intensifies. Oh, wait, where did we have an axe? Where did this happen? Why did I lose a bullet? I didn't shoot. I didn't shoot anyone, right? And and we suddenly have an axe. When did this occur? Another ritual panel, guys. It's fine. This one doesn't count again. Why? How can I tell the difference between an actual ritual candle and one that doesn't count as a ritual candle? Do I need to ask the piñata's advice? I better be careful. Of what? There is a horse's head in here, which is not nice. Again, none of these are real. I can't pick any of them up. Yeah, I can't pick these up, look. Holy cow. Mm-mm-mm. Some delicious steak in here, I tell you that. I took fucking 40 damage from that, are you shitting me? I just realized that that's why he said be careful, there is a man strung up on the roof. When it says check, I don't- this seems to be the way forward. 40 damage! 40 fucking damage! Is that gas? That sounds like gas, right? I probably shouldn't shoot near it. I've got a feeling the combat in this is going to be bollocks when we actually get to the point of, uh, of doing combat, but... So far, we've managed to avoid it. Maybe we can kill the lunch lady. That's my goal. Oh my god, things? Stuff and things? Oh, this looks like the lunch area, maybe. Which means we're probably gonna die. Oh, syringes, great. I love those. No, this is a lab, not a lunch area. I do like a good lab lunch. Other than Labrador, it's probably my favorite kind of lab, I'm gonna be honest. Wow, this place is fucking big. Dear Mr. Vermon, Vermon, <laughs> we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice a whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was we did wrong. We want you to know that our time together has been eye-opening. In this short span, we discovered that beneath our different exteriors and backgrounds, we share common fears, dreams, and insecurities. We are more than the label society places on us. We have conducted, connected in unexpected ways and learned to empathize with one another. We hope you understand that our meeting was more than just a punishment. It was a chance for us to bridge the gaps that divide us. Through honest conversation, 
and shared experiences, we've gained a newfound respect for each other. We urge you to look beyond the surface and recognize the potential within each of us, just as we have come to see it in ourselves and our peers. Thank you for this unexpected opportunity for self-discovery and understanding. Sincerely, The Computer Club. Vermon, we choose you! I feel like they meant Vernon, which is like a normal name. Vermon is not a normal name. Oh god, I'm trying... I'm... <sighs> So, I watched Has Been a Hotel again yesterday, and I've, I've still got the songs going in my head. It won't go away. They're just looping. We got some bullets. We now have 14 whole bullets. Hi. That is beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I need to find a key. Oh, hi! How are you? <laughs> Oh, his mask came off. I think my favorite character is probably Lucifer. I hear bumpkins. Oh, I hear the. There's the lunch lady! She's cutting up the food! Oh, shit! I'm guessing this game has no checkpoints or saves, and my game completely froze. Oh, look, this is a cutscene! Oh, beautiful dress. Could be in trouble here, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. Especially when the frame rate is like one. <laughs> My bullets! But she's also a fucking idiot. Which benefits me. Quite dramatically. Why did my flashlight just turn off? <laughs> I'm hitting her. I might win with this cheese, don't you think, guys? She can't hit me, but I can hit her. How long do you think this is going to take? 20 minutes? I'm guessing I'm meant to look for more bullets, but I, I thought I see some over to the left, but... I'm going to hit her for like another 60 seconds, and if she doesn't die, we'll go looking for bullets, alright guys? Look at that panty shot, guys. What you've all been dreaming of. <laughs> well, that went pretty well. Look at, the, look at the little meal she was making as well. Look at the delicious treats she was serving up for the kiddies. By the way, this this implies that she stayed on working at the asylum after it was purchased by the Gore Doctor. <laughs> after it got transformed from a school. She just loved her work. What can we say, everyone, right? <laughs> what the fuck? She was like, yeah, I'm really, really dedicated. That's a key. Okay, that's for the, probably for the... Hi! Look at the texture on that. That's shit. Anyway, there was actually wasn't any bullets in here, by the way. 
as far as I can tell. But that's okay, because the axe and the scenery work together perfectly there to deliver a victory. The likes of which we never thought we'd see again. Hopefully we can cheese every single boss. With that, sort of, you know, just put an obstacle between us and them and then hit them repeatedly through the obstacle. That's the goal, alright? An American flag with a dead baby inside of it, question mark? One or the other. Definitely look like that. This place is massive, by the way. Although it has been pretty linear so far. I wish the flashlight wasn't quite as utterly shite as it is. Hi, guys. How's it going, guys? What's with all the mannequins? Oh, dear. That probably means something bad. The music's freaking out, and I don't like it. I'm not really sure what I'm meant to be doing, though. Why is the music freaking out? What's happening? I'm just gonna go this way and pretend that room doesn't exist. By the way, I haven't saved the game yet, I realized. Oh no, have I saved the game? I don't know. I think it auto-saves. Hi, how's it going? Oh my god, a power switch? Here? Surely not. Oh, it was the other game where we needed to do that. We needed to raise the curtain is what we needed to do, I think. But let's go up here first and look at random shit. Repertoire. Spectral shadows. A group of friends decide to spend the night in an abandoned mansion. Rumors be haunted. As the night progresses, they encounter eerie spectral shadows that seem to feed on their deepest fears, turning their once fun night into a terrifying battle for survival. The harvesting. In a remote farming community, strange crop circles appear overnight. As the townspeople investigate, they uncover a horrifying truth. An otherworldly force is using the fields to harvest the souls of the unsuspecting residents. Can they escape the clutches of this supernatural entity before it claims them all? A group of strangers receives murderous invitations to an isolated mansion for a dinner party at midnight. As they navigate the labyrinthian corridors, they soon realize they are not alone. The spirits of the mansion's dark past rise, seeking revenge on those who disturb the eternal slumber. After stumbling upon an antique mirror at a yard sale, a family begins experiencing inexplicable and malevolent events. As the mirror reveals twisted reflections and dark secrets, they must unravel the curse before it consumes them all. Good shit. The music is fucking annoying here, actually, I've got to be honest with you. I'm guessing the curtain has raised now, by the way. Yep. Oh, boss fight? Maybe? Something bad's about to happen. Hi. It's alright, his name was Keith. Fucking hell! <laughs> Damn. I got a trophy for that, by the way. Our reaction is quite psychotic here, I'm gonna be honest. What has this achieved? We can't go back there though, so... What has that achieved? What, what did that do? I know a bit of him blew up, but I can't see any, like, things to pick up anywhere. Well, it's the end of Keith. There's got to be something else up here, because the other way was a dead end. Oh. I guess that is the way. Little mouse there, being adorable. I can't block, by the way. Or have I been here? No, I haven't been here. You right, Jim? Jimbo? What's his name? 
None of these candles are real, by the way, again, which is so fucking weird. Like, what was the point of the ritual bit? Have I been here? I don't think so, because Jimbo wasn't there. And there wasn't a noose on a table. We haven't been here. Alright. Oh, we saw this guy wearing a clown mask at the start. I mean, that's obviously not him, but, you know. I just remember that. What the hell? We're going. What the hell was that? I have no idea what just happened. Did a bunch of flies just go through the place? Is that what just what happened? Why am I levitating? There we go. I think we might have dodged a bullet there. Oh, that's the noise we heard before from below the floor, I think. God, this music is really annoying. Like, to the point where I want it to, like, really just fuck off. Why are we even in this room, really? I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, this! Aha! Don't know what I just did, but it was something. Didn't turn off that, which I thought it might have done, but I'm not quite sure what that would have ha what it would have achieved anyway. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really would have hoped that, like, if I, if I had to pick a cell to have in this place, Jesus Christ, um, I probably would have picked uh, one that had a toilet. Maybe not one that had that specific graffiti in the background there, but you know, I would have picked that one because you need to pee. You got toilets right there. You know, perfect, perfect scenario. I have no idea what I just did, by the way. Um, could have been anything, I'm going to be honest. Probably shouldn't have run through that, but at least it didn't kill me, so, you know, strong start. What did that do? I thought it might have raised one of the bars or something, but... Oh, it did. It raised this one, I think. Yeah, it did. Okay, this was a bar before. Hi. Hi. Got lots of devil wearing voodoo dolls. I love the way we can't heal with any of the clearly medical drugs that with health things on them knocking around here. <laughs> no idea what I'm looking for in here, but th we did open this room. There was someone alive in that cell, yeah. But the graffiti was a little bit a little bit racy, so I decided to leave before uh Beforehand. I'm gonna be honest with you, this music is really fucking annoying. To the point where I wanna mute it. I was gonna say, it wants us to follow the footprints. Oh, a school bus. Lovely. This is really glitchy, like... <laughs> I'm thinking about crouch jumping in half life. <laughs> a shotgun! Hell yeah, a shotgun. I'm gonna save that for a rainy day. And by that I mean any enemy that tries to kill me in the next minute. Could be a boss fight here against, like, the bus driver or some shit. Although, he looked pretty dead, the bus driver, I will say. I don't know who that is, uh, for uh, Never heard of them before in my life. Aha! Into the vents again, guys. Oh my god! Fuck it, the climbing is so shit. Like, it actually is shit as well. 
This is clearly where I need to go. Oh my god. We can move this up here at least, I think. And use it as a ledge. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Alright, here we go. There better not be something in this vent, by the way. We haven't had a vent jump scare yet. God, all these vents are massive. Like, it's insane. They've all been huge. Anyway, a nice relaxing stroll through these nice relaxing vents where nothing bad can happen at all. And everything is numb, okay? Hey, we finished the level. Adrenochrome Abyss. Now aware that Dr. Goldberg was experimenting with Adrenochrome, the chilling creatures and phenomena you encountered send shivers down your spine. Doubt creeps in, casting uncertainty on your survival as you navigate through the perilous labyrinth of the mind of a monster. Dr. Goldberg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, he probably should have changed his name to avoid, like, uh... Oh no, I just realized what's in front of me. This is gonna be shit, isn't it? Oh hey, how's it going? Do you wanna fall in the hole? I mean, at least he was dedicated to his cause. <sighs> hey. This looks shit, guys. This looks so shit. Balloon. The hell? A bullet. Oh yeah. The clown boss is going to be the next boss, right? Because that we saw the clown at the beginning. It's going to be the next fight. Keith the Clown. He's also called Keith, but don't worry. I do have a shotgun still. That I am saving for a rainy boss fight. Probably bad? Jesus. Okay, that was way more dramatic than it needed to be. Yeah, that's the boss fight. <laughs> I will say, they put an effort in with these bosses, right? <laughs> Although his AI doesn't seem to have any effort put into it. Okay, we're out of bullets now. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Will he kill himself? Will he get stuck on something? Maybe these saws will harm this freak. Apparently not, because he just ran through them. Oh, he's stuck again. 
Hey, 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 come through the soul. Fun there, sir. I keep missing him with the axe, but the saws are damaging him, so I guess I shouldn't complain too much. His animation for swinging the hammer is so long that it's very easy to avoid him. Oh, he hit me. He hit me for not a lot. What was that animation? <laughs> that is a lot of damage in the end when he actually hits you. I went to test out how much he actually did. Oh god. Only eight for that one. When is he gonna- th these bosses, by the way, have a ridiculous amount of health. Like, it's insane. The lunch lady had an insane amount of health, too. Is he ever gonna die? I mean, he might do. There we go. I do like the ragdoll. Alright, two bosses down, guys. We did it. We're amazing. The Clussy has been defeated. Let us, uh, let us celebrate. Not really sure what I'm meant to be celebrating, I'm gonna be honest with you, because there's- I don't know how to leave the room. Oh, here. Here we go. We've got a checkpoint. Oh, look, it's stock asset doll that we've seen, I think, a billion times by now? It might be a billion. Shut up. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm starting it with the rocking horse, guys. Oh, hi! I don't know why my health's regenerating now, but I'll take it. If it's gonna shit out a key, I'm gonna be really upset, by the way. Did that do anything? Everything looks the same. This is where I came in, right? Yep. There's the clown. I... I don't understand. Let's go again! Why not, huh? Why not, everyone? Oh, this one's got intestines. Isn't that lovely? Ah, there's a note here, and, uh, just a note. I've always yearned for a son, a piece of myself to carry on beyond this life, but fate had other plans. Your mother's illness stole you away from you into the realm of death alongside her. In that moment, I couldn't bear to let you slip away, so I recreated you as best I could, and now you're here with me. Your laughter reminiscent of your mother's breathes life into these dreary walls, playing with these bittersweet solace, thawing the icy grip around my heart, if only for a fleeting moment. Well... I'm probably never going to leave this place the way this is going, so, uh... I'm really glad they're looking after you so well, though. You know? I've absolutely no idea what's going on, or where to go. Because... I feel like this is meant to do something, but maybe not. Two, one. There we go. 
got it. You can just brute force it. At least that's something. Fucking hell, that was terrible puzzle. That was like a shite music puzzle. Like, I'm usually good at these, but that was just fucking horrible. But hey, we did it, so we can continue. Oh my god. Can't wait to meet the Gore Doctor. I really didn't want to be back in these corridors, I'm going to be honest with you guys, but apparently we are. A running leap should do the trick. Bullshit. <gasps> <laughs> okay. That was very, 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 very lucky. Jesus Christ. Hi. <laughs> the axe is really good against these guys. Holy shit. A will to survive. Your resilience is waning as the nightmare grows in intensity. That loaded so fast that I couldn't fucking read it. Why did that load so fast and every other level's taken like a few seconds? What the fuck? Alright, we need a key. We need a code. That's probably in here somewhere, I'm gonna guess. I'm guessing it's not five, four, three, two, one. Seven, three, four, eight, five, one. That was really fast, but I think I got it. Yep. That was speed reading! Blam! Blam. Don't really know why I'm saying blam, but we'll take blam. Rosary, lovely. Blam. I need to find the key to the director's office. We might be near the end. I hope we're near the end, because I'd like to finish this today. Blam. Okay. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Belleville Municipal Hospital ID there. Can't actually pick it up though, so it's not a key or anything. That is Jimmy. He went for a swim this morning. He's fine. Likes to go by Jimothy as well, if you, if you didn't know. Jesus. Uh, subject Peter Smith, observer Dr. Gore. The document and analyze the effects of administration of adrenochrome, derivative codeine, and multiplied polypeptides. The subject demonstrated an extraordinary increase in strength, surpassing the established limits within the usual human parameters. A notable shift in the behavior was observed reflecting animalistic instincts. The subject displayed heightened agility, reflexes, and predatory awareness, reminiscent of instinctual behaviors observed in various predatory wild species. These behavioral changes were evident in the interactions with the environment as well as in combat scenarios. Remarkably, the subject under the influence of the modified formula demonstrated an exceptional ability to break free from the physical constraints such as bonds or restraints. The subject exhibited a force previously unseen allowing for a rapid escape from theoretically hopeless situations. The absurd effect on the subject following the administration of the modified formula have resulted in significant enhancement in both physical strength and the manifestation of animalistic instincts. These findings suggest huge potential and require further investigation. Lovely. Wonderful. I will say, they definitely have an increase in brain power, considering what's happened when we defeated the fucking lunch lady earlier. 
Following the administration of adrenochrome and DNA modification, a striking pattern emerged among the subjects involved in the experiment. Many individuals displayed heightened levels of aggression alongside a notable inclination towards res involvement in activities commonly associated with satanic cults. This behavior shift raised significant interest and prompted closer observation. Interestingly, amidst these changes, an unexpected phenomenon unfolded within the experiment cohort. Despite the altered behaviors and the nature of their newfound activities, a palpable social connection began to develop among the subjects. This aspect of their observation adds a layer of complexity to the understanding of the effects of adrenochrome and DNA modification on human behavior. The emergence of social bonds in the context of such drastic behavioral alterations prompts questions about the underlying mechanisms at play. It challenges conventional assumptions about the relationship between individual behavior and social dynamics, particularly in the context of experiment interventions. Understanding how these connections form and evolve within the context of altered behavior is crucial for a comprehensive assessment of the implications of such interventions. I don't care about the notes, I'm going to be honest. They're quite a lot of flowery stuff that I don't care about. Oh no, we need to find the specimen jars for this room to solve some kind of fucking puzzle. And we need a bolt cutter as well by the looks of things. Excellent! And there's a cable on the ground. Well, I guess we'll keep looking around until we find useful shit. Oh, that's a specimen jar, apparently. The problem is the environment's full of stuff that you can interact with that isn't actually useful. Right. Another altar. Yeah, we did so much with the first one. Seems I should put a chalice on the altar. Feed the chalice with fresh blood! Hell yeah! We don't have a chalice. Oh well, we should, I guess we should give up probably, guys. What do you think? There is a lot to do here. And I feel this is probably the last area of the game. Judging by what it's throwing at us now. I guess we'll see, though. Hello, Frank. I wish to inform you that a committee will be visiting the Institute shortly. When they arrive, I kindly request your assistance in directing them to me directly. It is of its importance. Direct them to me directly. Please direct them to me directly. We've got the director's office key, so that's something. Directly direct them. Directly direct them directly to me directly. Direct them. Directly. To me. Directly. Alright, director's office. Oh god. Dear Mr. Gorber, we're writing to you with sincere concern regarding our son Walter, who have been under your care at the institution. Why would you let your son be looked after by Dr. Gorberg? Unfortunately, we've lost contact with him since his admission, and we're deeply concerned about his well-being. We understand that our son has been deemed dangerous and has been incapacitated, but as his parents, we believe they have the right to inform about his mental and physical health status. It's crucial for us to stay updated on his condition and progress. We kindly request that you take the matter seriously and provide us with any relevant information regarding Walter's current situation. Failure to do so may leave us with no choice but to seek legal assistance. We appreciate the attention to this matter and eagerly await your response. Dear Dr. Murder, we're very sorry that our son has suspiciously gone missing. Oh, it's a chalice. Hell yeah. Another specimen jar. Wow. Oh, God. Dear Dr. Gorberg, I trust this letter finds you in good health. I write on behalf of the Municipal Hospital to address the growing concerns raised at Gorberg Mental Health Institute, as well as your lack of responses to previous explanatory letters sent to you. The Municipal Office has carefully reviewed the concerns raised by the members of the medical community and found it necessary to take decisive action to address these issues. After thorough consideration, it's been decided the Institute will be closed for an indefinite period. Furthermore, a committee will be dispatched to conduct a comprehensive evaluation of the situation at Gorberg Mental Health Institute focusing on service quality, adherence to regulations, and the overall satisfaction and well-being of the patients. The closure is intended to facilitate a thorough investigation to ensure the necessary improvements are implemented before resuming operations. We encourage your cooperation during this evaluation process, and the committee will be in touch to schedule a meeting to discuss their findings. It is our hope that through this process, any issues identified can be addressed and resolved promptly to allow for the eventual reopening of your institute. 
you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact her office. Sincerely, David Frost. All right, guys. Okay. All right. All right. Do you think he sent them directly to the office directly? I think he probably did. Okay. So we have the chalice. This is where we came in, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's go and fill the chalice with blood. Maybe. This is the wrong room for filling the chalice. Where is the blood chalice room? I don't remember. Obviously didn't leave enough of a mark on me, apparently. I think we have to go down the other staircase, right? Yeah, 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 we do. It's down here. It's easy to forget, guys, you know? Now I need to fill it with... I don't have a blood bag. Just use your own, okay? You've been twatted around a bunch. You were throwing up blood earlier. You can spare a bit. All right? Suck it up, okay? Suck it the fuck up. That's a bit mean, but I'm feeling mean today. I also don't know where the other fucking piss jars are that we need. So I'm already... Need to spend 20 minutes looking for these as well. There's got to be some more jars of body parts or shit that knocking around in here somewhere. We are family. Ah, I love the smell of Minx's rage in the evening. Thank you, Izzy. Oh, it literally a massive fucking one there. Can't believe you took it, Jimothy. Dick. You're such a fucking arsehole. I would use my own blood. I keep a big stash of it, just knocking around, you know. Alright, so we got three of these now. We need one more. Oh, brain? I don't know. Let's have a We can examine them. Fetus we've got. That's an easy one. This is the fetus. Okay. We got ears. Human heart. Ears. Heart. So we just need the brain. We just need the brain jar. The brain is probably in the fridge, right? But we need a bolt cutter to open it. Oh, hi. Sorry to interrupt. Probably for composing sick tunes. Damn. Oh my god. We got it. We got it. We got the brain. Maybe we didn't come in that way. Maybe the bolt cars are that way too. Huh. Seems it unlocked the cabinet door. What cabinet door? There was a cabinet door that was unlocked. Which cabinet door unlocked? Because it wasn't this one. This one's got a chain across it. This one. Aha. I got a padlock key. We don't need bolt cutters. Hooray. Fuck off. And the blood bag for the chalice. Oh my god. Life is good. Fill the chalice with blood. And a key? That's it. To the exit? Old door key. We're fucking going. It's gonna be us. No. Descent into insanity. Now oh, we can't read it, sorry. Too fast. Oh, this music can fuck off, by the way. It's alright, it's a very slow descent into insanity, so it's totally fine. No rush or anything, elevator. 
We've got 30 minutes of this stream left. It'd be great if we could finish in a day. I really want to. But if this is going to be the next 10, we're going to have words, all right? Oh, hi! Jesus. That's not Jesus. I'm sorry. That's Horatio, my friend. Nope, again? Failing at basic identification. You can tell this poor guy's been really... Hi. You can just climb in and kill me! What the hell was that? You could literally just come in! Oh, hi, Dr. Gorberg. I guess that is Dr. Gorberg. That's his assistant, Dr. Blood Murder. Sorry. PhD. What? There was something squirt. Oh, hi. Oh, body parts. It'd be funny if these damaged us. Is this entire level just going to be us going down an elevator and nothing happening? I've got a feeling that might be the case. I hope Dr. Goldberg is as incompetent AI-wise as every other enemy in this game has been so far. Otherwise we might be in trouble. If I crouch down, I can learn their movement pattern. Uh... Oh, shit. What are we doing? What is happening? Okay. Okay. Also, this is incredibly tedious. How many times do you think we're going to have to do this? I reckon 27. What do we think? I think it's getting a bit faster every time. God, this is really boring. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh, great! Skulls! Skull motif. Oh. I hope this is near the end. Finally. <laughs> I love the way he sounded like he was done with it as I am. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, yeah, fuck this. Chamber of Bones. Stepping out the elevator, you read by a room and done with rows of skulls. Too fast. Some kind of scale. I don't have the right item. Oh, great. More puzzles. Exciting stuff. Alright. We need to solve some kind of item here. Slice. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. It's this bollocks. It's a spinny puzzle. Could be worse, I guess.
Is that right or wrong? Like, I mean, that's right, but it might be in the wrong place, yeah? Is that, is that, that could be the, the case, right? Yeah, that's probably the right way, because the man's that way. Look, see? The man. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Alright, what did we get? What did that do? Hello? Oh, we have to do all of them. Great. I love video games. Do you know that video games are my favourite thing of all time? Did you know that? That's it. At least they all have, like, body bits that I can recognise where they go, you know? <laughs> awesome. Could be a lot worse than this, to be fair. Like, it could be an actual sliding puzzle. When I, I might have turned it off at that point, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, so this isn't right. The body's another way, I guess. I don't really know which way around this one's meant to go. I guess we can just return it around gradually, right? Until we get it right? So, like... Thank you for the skull explosion. Check the paintings for hints. I'm so confused right now. What the fuck even is this? It's the number fucking... How do I change this? I understand what this is, by the way. It's a fucking one of these terrible... So one needs to be a three and a one. Okay, so the three and the one are the right ones for that. Okay. But they're in the wrong place at the moment, so like... I fucking hate this shit. This is just so boring. Six and a five go on eight. So where's eight? Alright, so let's get the five over there. Three and a one is right. The six and a five is right. So we need a two. What do we need with the X? We need fucking a one by itself and the two on the other side. Okay, so we need to get the two over. All right. And on that side, we need four, two. Did it. Is this door gonna open? Thank you. This this better be the end! Showdown! Yes! Showdown! We got it! We got a showdown! Oh, there are two people humping there. No, 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 no! What the fuck? Chop the head off the prisoner. Oh, they're eating bodies. Lovely. It's getting very edgy, guys. It's getting very edgy. We got people fucking and... I'm not really sure... Oh, the door just opened. Excellent. I guess here he is. Dr. Goldberg, I presume. I'm guessing this is his dead wife as well, by the way. Wow, she's got a rockin' pair of tits.
Thanks for the advice about the last boss. <laughs> His range is not that impressive. But I think he hit me, right? Alright, we're at bullets again. Time for the usual fucking around for 25 minutes with an axe, right? You love me some adrenochrome. <laughs> it's gonna take like 20 minutes, guys, if the end of the boss fight's in and to go by. Oh god, I don't want to die here. At what point did we start regenerating health, by the way? I know it happened eventually. model? Did you see that? It was like his neck bent off. Oh, well, you can stun him with headshots. Oh my god. Hit detection? What is going on? This is my way out. Dr. Goldberg is Dr. Deadberg. This music is totally going to get claimed. Oh. Finding so you slowly emerge from the depths of sleep. What? Well, okay. Why hello there? You can't read any of the little blurbs because the loading screens get so fast that they just you can't read them. It's why you need like a press the button to continue past the load screen. It was all a dream, yeah. I think it was all a dream. That was... It's taken us about an hour and a half to get through this. Hey, sis. You won't believe the dream I had. Where is our sister, our doctor? Surely that's a conflict of interest. Oh, sis. I can always count on you to come up with a really reply, sis. And we died.
it might be copyright stuff. But anyway, um, I actually thought this was alright. Uh, I don't know what you guys thought, but it was... It was a decent little game, right? Like... It was okay. Like, the ending was terrible. And... The end, it dragged on a bit too long, but it was alright. I played so much worse that I can't be too mean. I can't be too mean because I've played a lot worse. It was alright. It was okay. Like, it was alright. Like, compared to some of the stuff I play on SOS, it was significantly better. Wow, you guys are harsh. Mind you, you guys don't play the garbage that I play every week. Uh, I wouldn't give it a 5. I'd probably give it a 4.5 out of 10. Because it is a finishable video game. Which is a lot more than, manage, than most games manage, I'm going to be honest with you. It's just being edgy. It doesn't need to... It's not trying to achieve anything other than edginess, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, that salient games is uh, bloody blood, blood, bloody dog gore doctor. We beat it at least, so there you go. I think I'm one of the few people that has beaten this. Um, I might put this on YouTube on the basis that nobody else seems to have a playthrough of this whatsoever on YouTube. So uh, yeah, people just played the demo. Anyway, I, that's all right. Like I played a lot worse. I, I, that's all. That's what I can say. I played a lot worse than this uh, every day, pretty much. So you know.